On his continued tour of duty of Luapula province, Green Economy and Environment Minister Collins Nzovu has visited the controversial Muombe mine, where sojilite is mined in the area, to assess the impact of illegal mining activities on the environment. Our coming here is to ensure that we do what we call a strategic impact assessment for us to see what the dangers are. Already we've seen a lot already. Obviously where the mining is the mine itself is located, how far from this from the source the stream is, the potential for pollution, the methodology of mining. I want to assure the people of Wapola that uh, indeed they need to benefit from this resource. This is not proper mining methods. Why? Because there is no settling point where this water is going to. We've had a lot of challenges. As you may be aware, Muombe River is not too far from here. So for the minister and the Zema team to see what is happening, for us it gives us hope. The minister, in the company of the provincial permanent secretary, Maite Mumba, was on his way from the mine, met with a road barricade by irate youths of Muombe area. The youths verbally and physically attacked the government in Tourage, including journalists. It was at this point that Sub-Chief Kundamfomu told the minister that the government vehicles would only be allowed to cross the barricade after meeting his demands, adding that in future no government official would be allowed to visit the mine without his permission. Mr Nzovo, who spoke after the ordeal, said government was voted into office to serve all Zambians, adding that he would engage the traditional leadership in the area. The only challenge which was there was misinformation, I think, from some of the traditional leaders as well. Uh, the allegations were that we are going to collect suji like that. The, the situation is volatile. Our people are hungry. Our people need to be catered for. Mary Mwikisa, ZNBC News, Mansa, Lapola Province.